stream that helps the channel the most definitely hit that share people deserve to hear this conversation all right adrian touched on this i feel like we also had the suffering silence conversation that went it, sh it should be viral soon so do men need hard times to become the best versions of themselves i never usually start with this person but i want to start with q do men need to need need hard times to become the best versions of themselves q yes yes men need hard times to become the best version of themselves because through uh i believe through trial uh <laughs> you obtain strength and so without that you're not going to be the best version of yourself it's like if you think about being around a bunch of yes men you know that's just something light but if you never have somebody around you who's challenging you you're going to function at a mediocre level in my opinion word oh uh, okay Real quick, I just want to say shout out to Jordan, Shanae, Racine, AW, Rotonda, um, try to Taz in the chat, um, Double R Productions and all that. Appreciate y'all tuning in. What you think, love? Do men need hard times to become the best versions of themselves? I think men need lessons. Like every and everyone needs lessons to learn and be the better version of themselves. Hard times. When I think of hard times, I think I don't know about traumatic experiences. I, I don't know. I, I always go play to the far end of the word, but I don't think we need trauma to be the better version of best version of ourselves. We need lessons. Yes. Um, we also need to have that inner tenacity innately within us because some people go through tough times, hard times or whatever, and they break and then they never recover. So I mean, it, now, it's more Asia, here's here's where you make me the bad guy. It says men, you talking about we. Oh my bad. Okay. Don't be the bad guy. <laughs> Don't be the bad guy. We'll say men. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Men. So do men because it's different. I don't agree with that, but I'm going to go with this question that's scrolling across. Okay. I believe men <laughs> need to have an inner um, tenacity trait because it goes much further than just going through a hard time or difficult time to be the best version of yourself because some men don't have it in them to make it through that hard time and they crumble and they never recover. So it's more than just going through that. You have to have that inner, you know, that inner uh, tenacity, leadership, resiliency is what I'm looking for. They have the inner resiliency to become the best version of yourself, to get through that lesson, learn from it, and then apply it to your life to become a better version of yourself. Okay. Mr. White. Do men need hard times to become the best versions of themselves? Yeah, just like everybody else saying, you don't, it's almost like you don't even become who you meant to be until you hit that moment. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times that's when that thing is finally woken up inside of you. You know what I mean? When you look at some of the greatest men that have ever done anything, they've been through something hard, something real where it revealed to them that, okay, th this is who I am or this is who I'm going to be. And they've been unstoppable ever since. Hmm. So, okay. What you think, Alex? Same. Yeah, I agree with love, um, but I wouldn't necessarily use the word hard times because not everyone bounces back. But I would definitely say that men need experience, life experience, in certain things. Um, I think life. Not the same question. It is. No, you're saying we need life experience. Thanks. But, I'm asking specifically about hard times. But camp. Life experience could equate to hard times for some people. It can, right? But not always, right? I'm asking about hard times specifically. Men need hard times to become the best versions of themselves. Jesus. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Okay. Why? Uh, can you read the super chat for me, Alex? Yes. Hard times for men teaches empathy and appreciation. Shout out to Double R Films. Hard times for men teaches empathy and appreciation. For All right, go ahead, Alex. 
Go ahead, Alex. For some, not all. I think it depends on the person. It depends on um, their level of resiliency. I think it depends on, are they someone who can self-correct? Okay, this happened. What am I going to do differently in the next go around? What will I do to change it? How am I going to, am I going to allow this make or break me when said hard time comes about? Okay. Is that better for you, Ham? It was decent. Chief. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <What's the thing? laughs> um, I think I want to pick the question apart and just say need. I'm not sure. I don't think you can go through life without experiencing hard times. I think men need mentors more than <clears throat> hard times. Like I believe with the right people in your corner feeding you the information you, you need, you're able to build yourself to still become a, a good person i think adversity and hard times do mold people but I, I don't know if it's a necessity so you're saying that somebody can tell you hey don't put your hand on the stove because it's hot and you can get to the same goals i mean i think that's a shitty uh, example but mm -hmm. i do get what you're saying like i think someone can guide you from you know from those things but i do think like it's it's inevitable like hard times are inevitable so needing them though like I, I do believe if we didn't have to, i mean I, I just feel like because it's unfortunate that we have to experience hard times having a good person in your corner to help guide you through some of this stuff can help maybe prevent those times from being as hard which can still help mold a person like so that. you're saying that if somebody told you you're saying that the stove analogy that we've been hearing forever is not good in terms of that if somebody coaches you through the fact that you don't need to put your hand on the stove to know it's hot yeah, but I mean, you that, like, putting your hand on the stove ain't a fucking hard time. You get burned. Like that ain't that ain't no fucking challenge that I got to go through. But it's like, an analogy. It's a shitty one in, in relation to the question. All right, mute your mic. What'd you say, love? <laughs> I have a question. So I, now I know why you said men. Now I get it. Because if I go along with what Chief was saying, men, can you all learn just from mentors telling you don't do this, do this instead? Is the men able is a man able just to learn from telling you and not actually experiencing it and i'm gonna no, say no i don't think men have it in them i think it's harder put it that way for them to actually be like you're right i'm not gonna do that because you told me not to do it i think it's just harder for men to i, I think some, it's how you're wired so yeah I'm, uh, i like that question here i appreciate you I, i'm starting to learn you a little bit better yeah i think it's hard for men to, to do it just yeah. by being told mm. Okay, so okay, T, did so you answer? answer? Question, yes, they need it. Nah. Sorry, the answer question, nah. yes, they need it. Okay, um, at, to me, adversity is the true test of a man. Okay, so just like how, um, Love was saying, you know, using the analogy about someone telling you, um, I, I, I can look at it in another way, like you know, it all depends on who tells you that you know the stove is hot or try to tell you one thing because it's just like um you know my father god rest his soul uh you know he told me a lot of things and i listen and it's got me where i am and i know that you know there were some things that i didn't listen to and i paid some you know i had to pay a few consequences so if he wouldn't have told me then you know i probably you know i probably been a, a bigger fuck up than i am so <laughs> mm -hmm. so okay uh so how many people said we men do need hard times raise your hand i'll, I'll make it audible okay so three or four four out of uh seven or well, mary do you think